Week 3 of the DBT06 support. Well, actually, not only do we get DBT06 support, we actually do get some cards from the third set of Lyrical Monastrio, which is surprising and probably not really surprising. <laughs> we do get quite a sizable chunk of uh, Lyrical Monastrio stuff, but then again, those cards are still quite generic as we don't really know like what are the potential right line skills that we will be getting for the third set of Lyrical Monastrio. But without further ado, do let's get into the third week of dbd06 we're just one week away from the release let's take a look for dragon empire we have a prayer dragon sharp equipped dragon adam arrows auto when this unit becomes an original dress cost counter blast one choose one of this card's auto dress units and it gets 10k power until the end of turn this is basically a one-off power up to a crossover dress virina i mean the only overdress cards that are basically all the virina so i guess this is quite okay it's not too bad for a final push card and because you know you know 10 10k power it's not too bad and you know at this point your cross overdress stuff are gaining power like no tomorrow anyway so this is like icing on the cake for you to hit even harder for your final turn push this is basically similar to galandite which i did reveal this card in the virina video or nirvana video but the only difference between these two cards is one's a great one and one is a great two and adam Arrows is able to give 10k to anything regardless whatever virinas that you cross overdress be it a garo virina bram virina or any other virina that you did cross overdress for gallon diet is basically without any cost he, you are able to give 5k to any of the virinas but if you cross overdress garo virina with gallon diet, you basically give a 10k to garo virina which is free as opposed to this card giving like you need to pay one counter blast for just that one turn of giving the 10k gallon diet's power is basically like until the end of this fight as long as that garo virina doesn't die <laughs> but yeah i think this prey dragon should be played despite of all the bad stuff that i say about this card i mean this card is still quite decent if you ask me next is the other card for dragon empire feelings to pierce true you basically pay one counter blast as well as discarding a card in order to play this card you choose two cards with crossover dress ability from your drop and put it into your hand it's basically one of the ways for you to recycle your crossover dress from you either discard or your opponent attacking into it or basically get retired from your opponent's skill garo and Beerus, which we will talk about him later are are excellent target to be recycled because these two cards are basically your main attacker i mean one is your brain attacker the other one is basically your defensive option as well as recycle some of your stuff from the drop zone however even if this card is like a really good card for you to recycle your crossover dress stuff space is still tight because we are getting like quite a lot of crossover dress stuff and not to mention all the prayer dragon as well as your trick star space might be a little bit tight if you ask me so yeah it might be a bit of a challenge for for you to build this deck but hey don't let me stop you from playing this card it's still quite a decent card for you to recycle some of your stuff next is another virina steel wall equipped beerus virina similar to the other virina this card basically has the cross overdress skill the second skill auto when this unit is placed on rear circle in the cross overdress state choose a card with cross overdress ability from your drop other than steel wall equipped beerus virina and put it into your hand third skill continuous rear circle if this unit is in the cross overdress state this unit cannot be chosen by opponent's card effect and gets 5k power and 10k shield and 10k shield active on your opponent's turn too this is basically your defensive utility support for virina because whenever you cross over dress this card you basically get an extra crossover dress stuff be it garo bram or any card that is not himself which has the crossover dress skill back to hand which is super nice depending on what your situation is if you want to push harder you can always get the garo virina back to hand or if you want to basically board control your opponent you can get the Bram, which is not too bad. This card is basically a 20k attacker with a 15k shield to intercept plus a 15k base on your opponent's turn. Now, the extra 5k here when he attacks is basically assuming that you did crossover dress with Galandite because Galandite still provides him the 5k power, which is not too bad. However, the saving grace for this card is basically the immunity to your opponent's choosing effect. It's actually really, really good. <laughs> but yeah, this card I think will be run at four because he just provides you with a lot of stuff defensive shield utility recycle as well as being a decent attacker i mean this card should be getting i i, I would argue this card 
meant to be better than Garo, but Garo being Garo, he is going to be your best attacker no matter what. So this is basically a really, really good support. Next up, we have another prayer dragon, wall equipped dragon bureau skill. Auto, when this card's auto dress is retired from Rhaegar Circle or Guardian Circle, during your opponent's turn, cost Soul Blast 2, call this unit to an open Rhaegar Circle. So this card is basically meant to be play with Beerus Varina because he's able to recycle himself if you intercept Beerus Varina or Beerus Varina is, gets attacked from, by your opponent. I mean, you don't necessarily have to play this card with Beerus Varina. It's just that Beerus Varina will have a much better synergy with this card as opposed to the other crossover dress Varinas. He's able to superior call himself back after you basically intercept or gets retired away for you to basically have one material ready. And the next time you do crossover dress, you only need one trick star. However, this card being at Soul Blast 2 is actually quite heavy. I mean, we do have a lot of cards that basically helps you soul charge or move to the soul, but still, it's uh, actually still quite heavy if you ask me. But overall, I think it's actually super nice that they are giving Virena some way of recovery back their hand resources. With a card that basically recycles some of your materials, I guess it's actually not too bad. Just that you need to like kind of plan out your resources a little bit because your resources is burning like no tomorrow, which is quite fitting for a Dragon Empire deck. Moving on to Dark States, we have Therm Fractured Dragon. Auto Rear Circle. When this unit attack hits a Vanguard, you may draw a card. If you do, choose a card from your hand and put it into your soul. Now, this is basically a filter hand while also giving you a soul resources, which is not too bad for Dark States because the whole of Dark States, each and every deck in Dark States focuses around the soul. But there are two decks that basically benefit the most from this card is basically Draw Jeweled as well as Chaos. You need like specific card to be in the soul for, you know, Draw Jeweled as well as Chaos to activate their skill. If only this card does not need to attack it. It's a bit sad, but yeah, well, no, there's nothing really much I can do. If it, if this card does not need to attack it, I think this card will be going to triple R. <laughs> it's not really a high priority unit to be run, but still, it's a uh, good to have unit, if you ask me. Next, we have Desire Devil Kuishugi, a Greetings. Although when this unit is put into your soul from rearguard by the ability of your avaricious demonic dragon greedon, if you did not counter charge this turn, counter charge one. Second skill, auto soul. When your rearguard is placed by a card's ability, if your vanguard is greedon and your damage zone has four or more cards, the call unit gets 5k power until the end of turn. So, counter charge for greedon, not bad. <laughs> I mean, greedon does not really use that much counter blast with the exception of maybe if you want to go like the tree attack greedon or if you want to use in can skill you know the one that counter blast 2 to give greedon 5k power as well as one drive yeah this card i think it's okay although it's really suck that you can only do it once it's kind of suck <laughs> the second skill is actually really really good and really crucial for bubetsu skill which is the rabbit because the rabbit does allows you to call stuff out from your hand to rigor circle which means that greedon no longer wants to be a solo attacking deck, meaning that greedon basically just attack by himself and that's it <laughs> but yeah this card in a Greedon deck potentially makes Greedon's Rhaegar attack more powerful. And not to mention that the power does stacks the more copies you have of this card in the soul, which is something I'm telling you. This is going to be really, really great for Greedon. Where was this card when I need him? <laughs> in any case, yeah, I'm really happy for Greedon to get this kind of support. And of course, the obvious weakness here is the damage zone needs to be at four. So do as you will with that information. Moving on to Stoikia, we have only one card for Stoikia. Performing Paddle Diante. Diante. Auto when this unit is placed on rigor circle from hand if your vanguard is grade 3 or greater cost counter blast one choose a grade 3 or less card from your drop and call it to rigor circle second seal continuous rigor circle during your turn if you have two or more back row grade one or less rear guards, this unit gets 5k power more 13k i mean it's not surprising that we are getting 13k booster i mean because of leonard's skill so it's actually more recalling from the drop zone support and not to mention that this card is basically generic any deck within the stoikia is able to abuse this card which i am not looking forward to <laughs> this is basically more so towards leonard but hey it's not restricted to any name so feel free to use this card in any of your stoikia deck i think this is probably going to be one of the best card for stoikia to have although it's kind of best one next up we have cardinal draco nuvoria auto rigor circle when this unit attacks this unit gets 2k power until the end of that battle for each world in your order zone second skill auto when this unit is retired from rigor circle if your world is abyssal dark knight you may call a shadow army token to rigor circle this card i think was already in being introduced in the anime this card is basically going to be a 
19k attacker on turn 3 because at the maximum only be getting 3 world order cards if you are running office regis that is and this card could potentially go up to 33k on your turn 4 including the personal right because by turn 4 you will be having at least 5 world order if you don't break that is this card actually is quite nice and is a really really great support card for office regis because there's like a very awkwardness in office regis formation because you are calling tokens on top of unit and you actually don't really get like any benefit from you doing that this card actually gives you that benefit in you calling tokens on top of novaria which is actually not too bad and keep in mind here is that this card skill does activate if your opponent attacks into it or retire it be it from meteor skill or being by attacking so do be really careful if you face against this card with this card inside orpheus regis arsenal i guess the pushing power for orpheus regis just got even more disgusting if you ask me although i did spell regis wrong there and alongside this world order all your tokens just got even more scary <laughs> yeah this is this is something that is going to be really painful. Now, moving on to Lyrical Monastrio. The first card that we have is Recruiting Members Millicent. Auto Rigor Circle. When this unit attack hits a Vanguard, choose up to one grade 2 or greater card from your drop and put it into your hand. For right off the bat, this card is actually really weird because she is a 5k base and she needs to hit okay this is really interesting but uh i don't know this card probably you will need to play the set order the will set order to give each of your unit the 5k power to whenever they are placed to basically be at 10k base i guess but still a 5k base for an on hit i don't know we will probably need to wait for new right lines to be revealed only then some of these cards make sense next up we have radiant smile michelle active rigor circle once per turn if you personal right this turn cause kind of blast one and this unit gets 10k power until the end of turn yeah so 18k booster or attacker on your turn four which uh i don't think this any deck will be running this <laughs> because it's a turn four skill she's not doing anything until the turn four yeah it's saying something it's not too bad but you know uh, similar to the card before her we will probably need to wait for the right line skill to be revealed so definitely a skip at least for now next up furry morning moku mu muku auto rigor circle when this unit attacks, this unit gets 2k power until the end of that battle for each of your other rearguard with different grades. So we actually get a glimpse of what one of the new right line is gonna do. If you have a full board of like different grades, grade 0, 1, 2, and 3, as well as 4, this card will be getting a 10k power. But then it would mean that your board is gonna be like super awkward. But then again, this could signify that a new right line for the third booster for Lyrical Monastery will be playing around the rearguard grades. So as opposed to like Draw Jewel, which we will need different grades in the soul, this card will be needing like different grades on the rearguard circle. So it is going to be really interesting as to what they will be doing for this card. And as mentioned before, we will need to wait for the new right line to be revealed. Only then we will know if it's good or bad. Next Next up, we have Rain Resembles of Maiden's Heart Lizzie. Continuous Rigor Circle. If you play a normal order this turn, this unit gets boost. Um, so yeah, I, 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 the first time I read this, I was like, why? <laughs> but then as I go through Lyrical Monastro's uh, card, this is actually really good for Thanos. I mean, Lyrical Monastro Thanos, the one where you play the two gem orders. Those two gem orders are basically normal order cards, which uh, basically unlocks this unit's uh, skill. Now, since Thanos does superior call from the top deck by one of the two stones this card actually does helps a little bit because she does she does get boost which means that you don't really like minus a lot because you know playing around rng is because you know playing around rng sucks like a lot <laughs> so i guess it's still fine to run this card inside willista deck although uh, willista is like not really the best deck out there but hey a common card to help her with that a little bit i guess it's still fine other than willista i don't think there are any other right line that wants to use her which is why she's a common a bit sad but hey what can you do next up we have a special days faustina auto rigor circle when this unit attacks this unit gets 2k power until the end of that battle for each of your other unit basically plus 10k if you have a full board not too bad but 8k base yeah it's uh once again for now this card it's not great although she's a dragon lady i don't think clarissa wants this because she's not you know earners correct if she's earners correct maybe just maybe she's really good but uh as for now no 
<laughs> just no. Probably new right line once again. Next is the double R, the last one. Large flower that dies the night Palmyra. Although when this card is discarded from hand during your turn, you may put this card into your soul. This is pretty much a generic support card, although she's a double R. I guess Bushiro does not really want to like reveal what are the right line skills as of yet, but that is why we are seeing like a lot of generic skills. So I guess it's okay for now because you know, we are still at in the middle of DBT06 support reviews. So I guess you can just give them like this one card. She basically co converts herself to a to become a soul, be it discarding to ride from the ride deck or from your skills. Converting one resource to another resource is not that bad, provided you are fully utilizing your resources, that is. There should be a possibility of re-standing ride line or skill that basically activates by discarding cards. But then again, of course, I do understand that we actually do have like a re-standing ride line in the form of this card already. I won't be surprised if there's like another restanding right line within Lyrical Monastro. But hopefully we don't get any more restanders because it's getting really really old. <laughs> and that is all for week three, the third week. Although the video title says DBD06, but yeah, I should probably edit the title to include Lyrical Monastro's uh, support as well. Do let me know down in the comment section on what do you think of the third week support for DBD06 as well as the early review for Lyrical Monastro. Do like and subscribe if you like this video and of course during the bell notification icon so that you don't miss a video i upload with that being said i'll see you all on the field